That is absolutely sensational. That is wonderful. Hi everyone, welcome to Backyard Chef, I'm Rick. Today I'm doing another one of my recipes, but this is my take on a pepperoni pizza. We are making pepperoni pizza bread pudding. Definitely worth a go. And I've got some really tired ingredients here, which I'm actually going to use up. And today I've got old bread, as per usual from the supermarket, the usual yellow tickets, but I got some pepperoni. So come on, pepperoni, pizza, bread pudding. Store-bought ingredients, evaporated milk, I've got a jar of pizza sauce or spaghetti sauce. You could use a Mariana sauce. I've got some smoked paprika, olive oil. I have four eggs in here. I've got a very tired looking <laughs> red pepper because we've used it before. And I've got some old basil, oregano, we're going to use some black pepper like you would do on a pizza. So let's bring it all together and I'm cooking it in the High Sapientia air fryer. High Sapientia. <laughs> I'm cooking it in the High Sapientia air fryer. Now you can cook it in the oven. Stick your oven on 350, 175, somewhere around about there. And when we start to bake, we'll only be baking for about 25, 30 minutes tops. I'll stick mine on in a little while because this thing warms up very quickly as we already know. I cook with it on the channel all the time and I'll only be setting it to about 170, 340, somewhere around about there. That'll do fine. Right, first job then. Let's just move our very tired looking bread. Now some of this crust has actually come off. It's probably been stuck to the top of the uh, plastic actually. But not to worry, not to worry. Right, we've got some eggs there, look. And we're just going to give that a little break in. Give it a little beat. And then we're going in there with our evaporated milk. This is a very quick, easy recipe. Now this can be adapted any which way that you want. And you also can pre-make this in the morning, stick it in the fridge, come back home and put it in the oven. It's very adaptable. That is our eggy milk mixture. Now we need to be going in there with some oregano, a good teaspoon of oregano. That is going to go through all our mix. I'm going in there with some black pepper. Again, all this is to taste whatever you like. Just adapt it any which way. It doesn't matter. I've got some smoky paprika and I'm probably going to go in there with about just over half a teaspoon. We're going to give that a mix. Okay, that's our custard mix, but it's not complete yet. So I'll just put that to one side. So we're going to run a knife over that, nice and steady. Don't get stressed over it. And it doesn't matter how you chop it. I'm just going to use the tired ham in there rather than two pieces of ham in a sandwich. This all comes together and this is better than a sandwich. This is a flavor bomb that, you know, you can freeze up, you can bring it out, defrost it, warm it. You've got extra meal, not just a two slices of bread with a piece of ham in. So I'll just put that to one side. Okay, I've got some very tired looking basil. Not a problem. We were using it for something else. So I'm just going to stick a couple of leaves on here, give them a rough chop in and throw them in that custard mix. Again, you don't stress about any of this stuff. And it's called using up your <laughs> ingredients. It's common sense. Why throw it away? Nice and steady.
So that's how a custard mix. Got all those flavours in there. Put it to one side. Right, we've got this old tired pepper. I've got a little bit of garlic. I've got a pan. Right, we've got this old tired pepper here. So let's use it. This is where you adapt your cooking. Now we are just going to cube it up nice and small. We want some little cubes in our bread pudding, our pepperoni bread pudding. Now this recipe is very unique, obviously. People don't do this. I do. I use all my ingredients. So we want some small cubes in there, look. Nice and gently. Don't rush, don't cut fingers. Okay, I've got some garlic. Again, a little squashing on that. And a little... Now, don't worry about this. It doesn't have to be minced to death. We're going to chuck this in a pan in a minute and give it a little bit of pre-cooking with some olive oil. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's just move that to one side of our board. I've got a red onion. Okay, we want some small cubes. Now, let me just demonstrate this. None of this parallel cut to the hand. It is baloney. An onion is made up in segments. Look, you can see all the segments. So it's crackers. Do not do this parallel cut. That's up to you. Just come through your onion nice and steady. There is absolutely no rush. Turn it round and and you have perfect cubed onions without the danger of cutting your hand. Do not do that stupid parallel cut. We were all taught it, it's ridiculous. So just nice and steady, don't rush. And if you get to that bit there, where obviously you don't want to do that, turn it over. You've still got all the same diced onion. My dish today is the same dish that I always use, okay, for my bread pudding. Now, we have pepperoni slices. So if we get into that packet and see what we actually have. Oh, lovely. They look fabulous. We have that much pepperoni in there that we can actually cube some up and throw it in our mix when we're uh, putting it all together to get little bits of pepperoni all around or we can actually layer it out inside. I mean, what does this stuff taste like? It's okay. It's very nice. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to just come in there like that and we're going to have some inside so we all get a little bit of pepperoni all the way through. Now you don't have to do this, obviously. So we got that in there for now. Oh, that pepperoni is absolutely delicious. Mm -mm. Okay, and what we might do, we're going to put a layer inside as well. So we're going to have a layer, a bit like a, bit like a lasagna with pepperoni. Mm. Fantastic, is we have to get a pan on and start stir frying that. Okay, no big dramas in there with a little bit of olive oil. 
Now I'm stir frying this off now because I want to add this to my custard egg mixture and I don't want to cook the eggs. This has to cool down. We'll go in there with our garlic and our peppers and our onions. And we're not going to cook cook this, we're just going to give it a little bit of cooking on there. Just so it brings out some flavour and we're going to add it all to that custard mix. Now this is the only job that you would do if you were prepping this up before going to work. You know, you could put raw in if you wanted, it would still cook inside there. But obviously we're going to have that flavour with that olive oil and we're going to chuck it in the custard mix. It's going to be all in there already. Now this pepperoni carries a little bit of salt, I'm not going to use salt. Because I'm sure there's salt in this jar as well. And it'll be salty enough. Now I do like pepper, I will be adding pepper. Now that chopped ham, that's going in there. In there with that little bit of chopped pepperoni. And that there is one heck of a lot of flavour. You can smell it, it's just incredible. That to one side to cool down. Our very tired looking bread. <laughs> what I'm going to do is just trim it round a little bit. I'm not going to go too bananas in taking the crust off. Because some of this is quite nice. The dry bits, the very dry bits, they're coming off there. I mean, listen to that, it's like cutting through a biscuit. And so is that on there. So we do have some dry on here. So we can whip off just a very little amount. We actually want to keep as much as we can. Nice and straightforward, that's our custard mix in there with our bread. Now rip it up as small as you like, as big as you like, entirely up to you. Just get that in there to soak up that custard. And then we'll give it a good stir through. Now this loaf weighed about 500 grams. Somewhere round about there. That's our bread mix. All we've got to do now is stir all that in there. And let it take on all those flavours, all that milk. Fantastic. Now do not be fooled what it looks like. You know, this is just our stuffing mix if you like inside it's like making a stuffing okay we need to be chucking in there all that goodness that we've just had that olive oil all that flavoring those onions everything get it in again a quick stir through incorporate that in there so now we've got a mass a flavour going on in there. It's a huge flavour bomb. It's an explosion. The smell is amazing. Tray, glass, butter. We just want a little bit of butter. Come in the bottom of there. And grease out our dish. Grease it out with olive oil if you want. That's up to you. There we go. Okay. Let's create this fantastic dish. Blob that in there. Don't compact it as such, but just get it in and sort of like just loosely move it round your dish. Now I can tell you now that this is a huge flavour bomb this dish. It's massive. It's a complete unique twist on pepperoni pizza. And I know what you're going to say, well, if you're going to all this trouble, why don't you make a pizza? Well, oof, can't do that. Why don't you make a pizza? Well, the thing is, we're making a pizza. 
that's okay if you've time to make a pizza base or you buy a pizza base but come on those pizza bases the majority of them when you recook them it's like chewing on a sandal they're so dry it's ridiculous right this is store-bought sauce store-bought we just want some flavor in there and that's all it is the same as you would do if you were making a pizza except that's going to give us a lovely tomato layer above that layer of flavor want some mozzarella cheese we want a cheese layer in there in fact what we're going to do is we're going to take some of our pepperoni and we're going to put a pepperoni layer in there actually let's do that we've got that much of this bought stuff that we can have a layer in there and make this really delicious a bit of grated mozzarella in there look what a layer of cheese in there it's got to be sticky hasn't it now go as much cheese as you want or as little in fact mix it if you don't have mozzarella use cheddar it doesn't matter and then we're going back on there with our bread mixture okay i'm bobbing my oven on now i'm gonna let it preheat before we put this in so we're going to come down to about 170 175 let it preheat and then just get that loosely over the top try and get it all in there and then we'll just push it down a little bit but we're not going to squash it we want to keep those layers so they cook through right to the bottom and we're going to dot some cheese around and some pepperoni now this thing will even itself out as it cooks obviously now that is a huge amount of flavor right there our pepperoni that's looking special already little bit of mozzarella over the top and then some freshly grated parmesan and then me black pepper straight in the oven and we are going in there for about 25 minutes I'll do 24 because that's what it's on we go 24 minutes and we'll see what happens there we are let's get that out of there the the smell in this whole place is it's like a, a pizza house right what we need to do is actually cut through that a little bit because we've got this nice crusty cheese top going on there if you don't cut through it and it cools down when you come to scoop it out you take off the whole layer of cheese so we are just going to come through that top layer oh not on a proper angle there look and again we want to be coming through there and through there we can't wait that long well i can't wait that long anyway so let's come through there and let's have one of those out of there look at that oh let's just get that off there look at that just look at that <laughs> that is absolutely sensational that is wonderful there's a lot of flavor right there all we got to do now is give it a taste test okay so it's time for a taste test come on in we go oh 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 we got that lovely pizza top on there we've got that pepperoni under there all oh, that feeling 
Oh, look at that. Mozzarella stringy cheese. Wow. That is a flavour explosion. Mmm. That is delicious. Now, the thing is with these savoury bread puddings, they're very moist. They're not dry. It's not like eating a dry pizza crust. It's moist all the way through with that old flavour of a pepperoni pizza. I mean, come on. Look in there. That, that is absolutely sensational. Stick that with a nice fresh side salad or anything like that. Superb. Cut it into small squares. Take it on a picnic when it's cooled down. That is pepperoni pizza bread pudding made all in the High Sapienti air fryer. If you like what we're doing, don't forget, smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. We'll catch you in the next video.